everybody happy vintage shopper coming to you with another haul video okay today's video is going to be a little different so i have been i think i went to four places today and then i've gotten little things here and there so you know like i can't really say is like a ton of stuff at certain places it's been a little slim pickings you guys slim pickings but it's okay. Okay, anyways. So I was gonna show you all the things I got in the last couple days. Or maybe it's just today. Um, anyway, no, I think it's th over the last couple days. And um, yeah, so I'll show you what I got and I'll kind of tell you maybe where I got it, do my best at that, because I kind of got excited and I opened it all up. Took it out of bags and unwrapped some of it. Some of it I didn't. Some of it right here that's from today. But anyway. So I did get some things that, remember, are going to be a little boring. and um, But they sell well, so I grab them. And then some things that I was super excited about, and we'll go through that. You know. So I grabbed shoes. Oh, and don't forget to um, let me know if you're interested in anything by emailing me at happyvintageshopper at gmail. Um, so yeah, I'm not finding much. It's been slim pickings at Honey Hole at, now today I went to Watertown and I went to, I went to Blue, I went to, um, what was it called? Blue, Blue Butterfly, um, Thrift. And I went to, there's another antique store right across, right on the corner there. I went in there. Didn't really find much in there. Um. And I went to, found one thing in there, I think. I went to Bethesda in Watertown. And I went to the St. Vinny's in Watertown. That's today. Now, I picked up a couple things yesterday. I went to, there was a blue butterfly also in Oconomowoc. And I went to the Goodwill. Didn't find much. But um, at the blue butterfly, I found this is an old thermos, an old Aladdin thermos. Um, it's kind of cool. It has that kind of atomic look to it. It's really in really, really great condition. It has the liner in it. It has the cup, the extra cup. Yeah, it's in really nice condition. Paid three bucks for it. I'm guessing, I haven't looked this one up, but maybe 15? I don't know. I'll put that in my space and fort at five star. You guys know about five star. Buy now if you haven't already. Um... I grabbed this at the Goodwill in Oconomowoc yesterday. So this is a needlepoint, if you can see it, a needlepoint um, picture. It is amazing. It says Sansushi, and then down here it says, um, Casco, Maine, but it is really, really pretty. I paid $2.99 for this, and I had this and one other thing at Goodwill, and because I had a $5 coupon, it was free. This is the other thing I got at Goodwill yesterday. I got this, this um, really cool vase. Now, there is one little chip on it right here right there and this is a discoloration I think I can get off with the magic eraser but it is pretty darn cool Ooh, looks like there's a little booba right here too but pretty neat here's the tag on the bottom so half it was yellow was half price and so this would have been two bucks but because I had a five dollar coupon I got that picture and then this for free so it was pretty awesome so this, the original sticker was from, this is Made in Canada, Nora Fenton. So I'll look this one up. I don't know if, how much it's worth, if it's worth anything, but because of the size of it, it'll go in my space and Ford at five star. I just really liked it. I like the, the contrast of the two colors. It's pottery. It says pottery. But this one, God, I can't get over this. So cool. So cool. Okay. 
So that was that. I grabbed a couple of pairs of shoes at my honey hole yesterday. So these are Keens. And I can probably get 35 to 40 for these. And I paid four bucks for them. And these are um these are New Balance. And okay. So I got these New Balance hiking shoes. They're all leather. Um, they are waterproof. Okay. Um, I grabbed these. They were four bucks. I grabbed them because I just sold a pair of these for like 18 or 20. So I'll be able to make a little bit. That's good. So I grabbed those. And then, where did I get this from? I can't remember now. This little green goose. It is ceramic. Um, it is vintage. It's old. I think I can probably get, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I think I could probably get 25 to 30 for this. Yeah, I looked up online. It's got glass eyes. Kind of cool. It's a planter. I got that. And then I grabbed this at the, um, the, vin the thrift store in Oconomowoc as well. Now this is kind of like, what are you doing, Julie? But I noticed that on here was the Toddy brand. Um, I think I paid $2 for this, Toddy brand. So this is the container you would put your cold brew in after you made your cold brew. Um, and I'm sure that I could probably get like 15 for this, 12 to 15, and I paid two. So not too bad, not too bad. All right. Where else are we going? Okay, so I went to the St. Vinny's in Watertown. Now, what's interesting about the St. Vinny's in Watertown is they do not, you only can have cash there. It makes it really challenging because you just never know what you're going to find and do I have enough money and I don't, then I don't want to run across the street and get money from the quick trip. So I did grab some cash and I took it with me and I did find some things. So I've been looking for kitchen glasses instead of clear i wanted some of the color so i grabbed these just three glasses these are for myself they were dollar fifty each but they they have good some good weight to them because remember I, I cleaned out my kitchen and i got rid of stuff so i needed to replace some things and then i grabbed this carpet for five dollars it is handmade it's crocheted looks like someone put all these together it's quite large um, I think I can probably get between 15 and 20 for this. It's in really great condition. There's no rips or tears in it. Really nice. And then I grabbed these little bird salt and pepper shakers. You can't really see. These were a dollar, but they're just little chickadees. I thought they were kind of sweet. Little salt and pepper, little individual salt and pepper shakers. They were cute. I thought they were cute. And I grabbed this for my son-in-law. <laughs> it's a Packers, obviously. It's a garbage can. And he has Packers theme or sports theme in his man cave garage. So this was three bucks at Vinny's today. I thought that was nice. It's in really great condition. He can use it like as a garbage can in there. So. And then I got this at the St. Vinny's. Just a nice little cross-stitch picture. Has a nice frame and it can sit on a table. It was $2. And then I grabbed this little, um, this little, I don't know if it's a, like a jewelry box or something, but it has a really cool scene on top. It's, it's footed. It was two bucks. I can probably get mm, six to eight for it. Put Probably put this at five star. Five star. It's all about the smalls today because at the Vinnie's in Watertown, they have been figuring out how much things are. And so they price their like real vintage and older things accordingly. And they're usually all in cases. So you have to really do some, some digging, but that's okay. It's, it's for someone else then. I always say there's enough for everyone. You just got to 
it's got to take your time to go through things. So this is a nice little box. It has an insignia on the top, which I have no idea what that's for. It is marked on the bottom with this, so I can look it up. It looks like it's probably maple or black walnut. It has a really nice enclosure. It's made really well. And I paid $1.50 for it. And then what else? Oh, yeah. So then I grabbed this little like jelly jelly jar. It's got the original spoon. It's got some really cool butterflies and it looks like it's in the shape of a pear. And on, I paid a dollar for it. And on the bottom it says, made in Japan exclusively for Elizabeth Arden. Elizabeth Arden I think is a makeup brand. So I'm not quite sure what would have been in it, um, but here's the little spoon. It is quite cute. It has a little decoration on the front of it. Look at that. And then I grabbed, oh, this was really sweet. I grabbed this little lamb. Isn't it cute? I know it's kind of not exactly Easter, but I thought, well, I'll just put it in my holiday, you know, holiday um, bin that I have everything collected for when it's getting closer to holidays. I paid $1.50 for it. There's no markings on the bottom, but it could, it has the remnants of a sticker. My guess is it's probably left in just because the eyes are so really nice. So grab that. And then I grabbed this. Now this doesn't have the the um this doesn't have the creamer that goes with it, but this is a sugar um, covered sugar dish, hand painted, um, and it is marked. I I peeked, so I I tore the sticker off. It is Nippon, hand painted Nippon. Um, there's the bottom there. So I grabbed that. I mean, it's not the it's not the most detailed painting, but I thought it was cool. Fit it was fifty cents, so you know, fifty cents. And then I grabbed this little trinket box. There's no trinket on the inside, but it has a nice little rose on top. I've sold trinket boxes before um, on eBay. I paid 50 cents for this and they do sell well. I'm not, I mean, the more elaborate, the, the more the better they'll sell, but I just thought it was sweet. Bone China. For 50 cents, I thought give it a go, right? Then I grabbed this. So this was 50 cents. Now I might keep this for myself just because there's so much nostalgia wrapped up in this pin that it blew my mind. So I I growing up. My family, we were in a camping club and really pretty heavy in the camping club. Um, and I don't can't remember if it was Wisconsin Campers or what the organization was that we belonged to. And my mom will probably be able to put something in the comments. But this is a pin and that completely reminded me of they used to do these like rallies where you would go spend the weekend and be with camp campers from all over the the state of Wisconsin and we it was really fun like they had all these games and things set up for kids and um but they were really into pins and patches and um and this would have been a pin I think that you would have worn um as a camper from Wisconsin so they had state rallies or roundups, and then, of course, they would do, you know, ones that were the whole country, I think, but um, paid 50 cents for that. So I don't know. I might keep that. I'm not sure. Lots of nostalgia there. Then I grabbed this handled, hand-woven basket. Okay, this I paid up for a little bit. I paid $5 for this, but... When I flipped it over, it had this sticker that said Made in Italy. 
and it is a really nice basket like it is like really well made I'm guessing it was like a market basket like you would go or maybe to pick flowers or you know if you know let me know in the comments but it's definitely vintage it's got some age to it um I will put this in my space at five star antiques and vintage in fort um I just really liked it like the color of it um the construction is just really well done um and there's not really too much like broken or wrong with it which is surprising so thought that was cool cool um and I grabbed then I went to Bethesda in Watertown and I grabbed a pair of shoes for my daughter like hope they fit some if you know this brand Cha is it Chaco so I got her these black Chaco sandals for, I think they were $5.99. Let's hope they fit her. If not, I will resell them. I will resell them. And then I grabbed, I do really well with vintage clocks. So this is a West clock. Um, usually they do glow in the dark. It is electric. Um, there's no place for batteries. So you know it's vintage because you know, but it ha the cool thing is, is it has um, like the snooze, like a 10 or a five minute snooze. <laughs> it just really dates it. Um, so I will look this up, but I paid $3.99 for it. I'm us I usually can get between, depending on the clock, um, almost 20 bucks for an older clock, like 15 to 20. So I grabbed that. And I grabbed this little bag of $1.99. It was just a little bag of wooden littles, like just wooden smalls. I haven't even opened it. I don't know exactly what's all in here, but it's all hand painted, little wooden smalls. So I thought that would be kind of fun to go through and see what's all in there, you know, just to see. Um, it looks like there's a watermelon. They're all signed. This is a little ornament and it does say 1987 on the back. Like a wooden apple. Little Amish. Look at this one. This is a coffee grinder. That's cute. A little spool of thread. This one's just a little heart. And looks like this is a hand hand painted little teddy bear. And it is signed on the back. Someone's got a lot of patience. This one says, whoop. This one says, welcome. Very, very cute. I don't know what that is. But yeah, just some really cute little, little ditties in here. Um, another teddy bear. And then here's a hand painted little picture. But that was kind of cute. Nice. So that was a nice little little goodie bag full of goodies so I don't know if there's a whole lot of value in those but I'll look it up I might put those in my booth too or my space whatever we call it what else do I have here oh this is a birthday gift I can't show you that it's a birthday gift for someone I can't show you that then I want to that <coughs> The antique place across this kind of kitty corner from the um, the blue butterfly to the antique store, and they have, their prices are antique prices, so I I never really find much in there, but it's always fun to look. So this is a hand blown glass. Well, if it would be blue, it would call, be called the blue bird of happiness, but it is clear. It is signed on the bottom. Now. It says as is because someone decided to paint it red for some reason and it's starting to peel off. Um, um, the guy who worked, I don't know if he's the owner or works there, but he's like, if I was you, I would just throw it in the dishwasher and see if it cleans off. Otherwise I'll just use alcohol and see if I can get it off. But the cool part is, is there's no, like the beak isn't broken, the, you know, this, the ear, whatever, this doesn't, nothing's broken on it. It's just that someone decided they thought they needed to like paint it red for some reason. So if I can get all of this red off of here, um, obviously it's going to be worth more than $2. So wish me luck. 
I'll see what I can do with him. And then I went to, oh, this is from the um, Blue Butterfly, um, whoops, um, resale shop on, on it's, I think it's Main Street in Watertown. It's really cool. If you if you haven't been in there, um, I went to the one that's in Oconomowoc. They've got two of them. Actually, they've got more than that. But um, I went to the one in Oconomowoc yesterday, and I found some things yesterday. Not much, but I did get my daughter a diffuser. I paid four fifty for it, and she looked it up on eBay, and it it sells for a hundred dollars on eBay. So it's for um, my grandson's bedroom and it has a remote, it plays music, it changes light colors, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> so I'm like, well that was a good find. Um, that was exciting. So I got that at that resale shop in Oconomowoc, but I grabbed these. Um, these are Nescafe. So this is a brand of like a coffee machine nestle makes it um and they're obviously it has the world on it they're glass and i paid 50 cents each for these now this one said a dollar and this one said 50 cents so she's like well i'll give you this one for 50 cents and i thought that was nice but um so um i know that these can sell for a little bit of money i haven't looked them up exactly but i can probably you know get six to eight bucks for them perhaps but um but they're kind of cool they are kind of cool. And then I grabbed these tiles. Now there can be some value in um, tiles. So I grabbed these ship tiles. Let's see if I can show you these. There's two of them. 50 cents each I paid. So I think they are all, yep, they're all different ships. They're all different ships, which you know, is cool. And I'm pretty sure I can get more than 50 cents. It looks like on the back it says, um, oh, I can't really read it. It says Great Wall. It says Made in China. So we'll see what it, if they're worth anything. But I thought that they were kind of cool. For 50 cents, why not? Something different. You got to branch out. And then I got this one that looks like, um like a countryside gentleman, like a farmer working. Um, it looks like that's a windmill. So it looks like it's Holland, Denmark or something. Oh yeah, it says Holland on the back. Royal Moza, Holland, 19... No, that's not... It doesn't say the year. It just says the, na the brand name on the back. So we'll see. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's kind of cool. Whoops, upside down. <laughs> Sorry. So I got that, and then, is that it? I think one last thing I got, which is this. Now I, I know I got this chair at the Goodwill, or no, where did I get this chair? I can't remember. But I got this, like acrylic, clear acrylic, um, like office chair. Um, at that blue butterfly in Oconomowoc and I paid $5 for it. So yeah, so I got that chair, which I thought was really cool because I'm using a chair in my shipping room that is literally falling apart. Literally falling apart. It's an old computer chair that's seen better days. So this will be a good, a nice um, upgrade into there. So that, I believe, is all the things that I got. And do you guys remember me showing you those white Allen Edmonds shoes? I don't know if I showed you those or not, but I listed those a couple days ago. I paid $4 for them. No, slide. That's a lie. I paid, got those at Goodwill. I think I paid $5.99 for those. And I sold them today for $40 plus $13.25 shipping. So that was definitely a good find. And I did sell a lot I put together five vintage t-shirts um, and I did list them for like $40 because they weren't like, they were just, 
random t-shirts that I picked up at my honey hole when they were running a sale on t-shirts, half price off t-shirts. So I just grabbed a bunch of t-shirts, men's t-shirts. And I just threw them up, put them in size, like by size, um, grouped them. And I put those up a couple weeks ago and I haven't really gotten too much action on them. But today I sold, a, or yesterday I sold a, one package of them, one t-shirts. I had five t-shirts um, and the guy offered me 25, I think, plus like 13, 25 shipping. And I took it. Why not? I think I maybe have like six or seven, maybe $8 into it. I know it's not a ton, but it's putting, pro you know, I'm, I'm rotating things through and I'm always afraid to like counter offer because I'm like, what well, do they disappear? And then I just blew it. <laughs> but so, I mean, if it would have been like a low, low ball offer, I would have been like, dude, but I mean, it was pretty reasonable. I thought, oh, just, just do it. So that is all the shopping I'm going to do this week. That is all the shopping I'm going to do this week. I tell ya, I'm done for the week. So tomorrow I will go check on my space at Five Star Antiques and Vintage in Fort Atkinson and see how that went um, over this the weekend, last weekend. And then see if I need to, I'll probably take my sale down um, and then get it restocked and ready with a bunch of new fun things in it. And um, and I, I'm excited. I'm always excited to see kind of how things have turned over. So it's always fun. So anyways, with that being said, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And if there's anything, remember if there's anything that interested you, don't forget to email me at happyvintageshopper at gmail. And we can chat about it. Um, with, that, with that, I will say that's it for today. And um, we will see you probably next week. And happy shopping. Bye.